Hello, I'm Alice Thomas Roberts and welcome to my channel. As the Christmas holidays are right upon us, I would like to share with you some information on holiday etiquette tips for dining out. Many people have already received invitations to dinners and staff parties and some people might want a little reminder. First, let me say, be sure to wait to be seated when you approach a restaurant or the dining area in someone's home where you have been invited to dine. It is not proper to just head to the table, see the table and decide where you want to sit. Okay, just in case your host has already decided that there are places that they would like to see certain people. So be careful and wait to be seated. If you're meeting other people at the restaurant and you're the first to arrive, it is okay that you can go to the designated table as directed by the waiter or whoever else, the maitre d' and uh, order a drink or ask for the menu. Look as if you're there on restaurant business. Most likely you might even get on your phone. So you don't want to seem to be using the people's Wi-Fi for free or have some other intention. And if, if other people are coming in to the restaurant and coming to your table or passing by your table and you know them, they know you, and they approach so that they can greet you, you got to rise, rise to greet them, hug them, shake hands or however, whatever, whatever way it is initiated, but don't remain seated. Now, suppose you're invited to a function where there's eating or whatever other function. Uh, don't take it for granted that you should bring along someone. You want to be sure that you don't know how, what your host uh, situation is. You, know, you don't know what, how many persons they have catered for, so you want to um, be careful about bringing along someone. If you really have to bring someone along, perhaps you should call in advance, ask, or better yet, try to have that person do something else other than coming along uninvited with you. Now, something that is really important is your napkin. When you get to the table, your napkin should be removed from wherever it has been nicely folded up or placed on your plate or beside your plate in a little design. Remove it and place it on your lap. It is for catching any food that falls from your fork or your spoon or whatever you're putting to your mouth. And you can use your napkin to show the waiter that you, 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 if you are getting up and going somewhere to the ladies' room or the gents, that you are uh, coming back. You can place it on your chair, you can place it on the back of your chair, but definitely don't leave it on the table. If you leave your napkin on the table, you know what that means? It means that you're finished. So... Use your napkin with knowledge. And suppose you're invited to, to order. Be sure that you should not order the most expensive dish. You don't want to do that. Neither do you want to order the, the cheapest. You, if whatever you're ordering, you could seek the approval of your, your host or your hostess to be sure that you're on the right track, especially when you're not paying for that meal, right? Let's think about personal items. Some people have a difficulty um, letting their personal items be too far from them. That's understood. But your phones, your purses, your keys, any mobile devices really should not be on the table. You don't want these to be a distraction among the, the cutlery, and the, the wares, the drinks, the food. You want to be sure that you can put them somewhere else 
on your lap. It's okay while you eat behind your chair. If your chair has a full back, if um, or on the floor between your legs, or somewhere safe where you can keep them. But be sure not to leave your um, personal items on the table. And this must keep us to talking on the telephone. It's not proper etiquette to talk on the telephone where you are dining out with company. And so you've got to make sure that your phone is on silent or it's simply on off. Give the company that you are with your full attention, eat properly, and allow your food to digest properly. And if, for instance, you forgot to turn your phone off or to put it on silent, silence and it rings, make sure that you look at everybody, get their permission. Okay, when I say everybody, I mean the few people at your table. Look around all your host or hostess and may I take your call very quickly. In fact, leave the room. Go quietly to somewhere where you can quickly take that call and don't let it happen again. Make sure that you can then turn that phone off. Let that person know that you are in a function. You are at a meal, you're at a dinner, you're in a restaurant with other people, and so you can call them back. All right. Sometimes when we're in a restaurant, we have to call the waiter or the server. Be sure that you can call them in the most respectable way. In fact, when you arrive at the restaurant, you should be respectfully greeting those who are going to serve you so that they can give you of their very best. And if you have to call them for something, some reason, your spark fell or someone spilled something, be as discreet as possible. Don't be loud. Don't call out waiter as aggressively as you can, but respectfully lift your head, hold your hand up, and try to catch the, the, the eyes of the waiter. Once food is in front of you, you can't just begin to eat. If you're in a company and there are people around the table with you, you have to make sure that everybody is served. Well, especially if it's a small to medium-sized table, you can't just begin to eat. You have to get the permission of the other people around the table. It's just eye permission. You look at others, they look at you, everybody's served. And if perhaps you say bon appetit, perhaps you say a quick prayer, uh, and you begin to eat. Or else you look at the host, the host looks at everybody and says, go right ahead. It is the prerogative of the host and the hostess at the table, if they are at the, your table, to give the permission to begin to eat. So you can't just begin to eat and everybody else is not yet served or some people are not yet served. However, some people who are not yet served should look at the other people and give permission. Eating with the knife and fork. In the Western world, we eat with knife and fork. Uh, some people eat with fork only, but there are times when you have to use a knife to cut your food, to cut your meat. Listen, if this is a formal meal, you want to go out there and make sure you can just do it the right way, the proper way. In, you can either be eating British uh, continental way or the American way. With the British continental way, you always have the knife and fork in your hands at all times. The fork in your left hand with which you will stick the food, the knife in your right hand with which you will cut the food and uh, use the fork in your left hand to bring the food to your mouth. If you're eating the American way, which is also called the zigzag pattern, then you use the fork in the same way to stick your food knife, to cut your food, and you lay the fork, lay the knife down, transfer the fork to your right hand, and you're eating with your right hand with the fork, the times facing upwards. Sometimes when a table has a lot of utensils on it, because there are a lot of courses, some people can feel a bit confused.
Patricia, you want to bear in mind that uh, you start with utensils further away from your pleat or further away from the center of your fleece. So if you are being served with a, a soup to start, then you know the soup spoon is furthest from your plate on the right hand side. And if you're being served a, a salad, then you know that the salad fork and knife are the next one, the next pair of, of, of eating utensils and they the knife would be inside, closer to the plate, closer than the soup spoon. All right, and bear in mind your soup spoon is always on your right. Your dessert cutlery is always up ahead of you, and you want to make sure that you don't touch those until you have finished your main course or your entree. Right? And with every new course that is served, then you're taking cutlery that gets closer to your plate and your entree or your main course, the cutlery for your entree or main course, those are the ones which will be closest to your plate. Let's talk about holding glasses. Remember, at your table, at a formal meal, you most likely will only be served wines or water. When you're holding your wine glasses, you're supposed to be holding them by the stem. It is said that glasses with stems are meant to be held by the stems. If you cup the glass, when you cup the glass, it is there is a possibility that you can be changing the temperature of the drink and thus changing the taste of the drink. So be sure to hold it by the stems. Something that we need to be reminded of sometimes ever so often, especially in the Western world, is that we should not attempt to serve ourselves. If we're seated at the table with others, it is proper that we, if there's something in a communal bowl, whether it's rolls or salad or whatever else, might be placed in the middle of the table or even drinks. What we really should be doing if we are really hungry and we would like to start the, the eating, what we really should do is to pick up that basket and offer to the person on either side of you to make sure that you don't look too indisciplined by serving yourself. Because remember, in some parts of the world, it is considered literally ill-disciplined to serve yourself. Poor manners, poor etiquette to serve yourself. When we think of bread, bread is usually served at almost every formal meal. And uh, it's proper to break bread not to bite into the bread at the table with other people leaving teeth marks or lipstick marks on the bread or whatever is left back or to hold up your bread. It is said that we should break bread into bite-sized pieces and if we need to butter the piece that you're going to eat that's the piece that you should butter. And when I say break bread into bite-sized pieces, I don't mean break up all the bread on, on your, your side plate. You break a piece that you're going to eat and that is the piece that you are going to butter and put into your mouth and eat all of it at the same time. Now, the soup. Always spoon the soup away from you. Your spoon in your soup away from you. Always spoon your soup away from you if you're seated. You understand. Spoon your soup away from you and back to your mouth. And for us in the Western world, it is not proper to dip our, 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 our rolls or bread into our soup. It's, it's a no-no in the Western world, though it is acceptable. In some other parts of the world. Something that we also need to pay attention to is the, the, the matter of adding uh, condiments to our meal almost immediately. Some people just have the tendency to feel that the, the meal is not well seasoned or salted enough for them. 
You don't want to start adding immediately, even before you eat. You want to, to you don't want to offend people. So you want to taste your food first. And if it's not salty enough, if you really can't eat it like that, you you can add. Sometimes uh, uh, there is an item that you might need. It might be the salt, it might be the pepper, it might be um, a bottle of wine or something. You want to make sure that you are passing items to the right in the Western world. You don't want to be sending items across the table. And that's where this little rule evolved from passing items to the right if you are in the British or in the um, continental side of the world or the Eastern Caribbean, um, English-speaking Eastern Caribbean, the Americans pass to the left. So they're passing clockwise and we're passing anti-clockwise to the right. What if you got some unfamiliar item in your, your mouth? and you don't want to swallow it or there's a bone that you would like to come back out it is said that the way it went in that's the way it should come out if you put it in with your fork then your fork should take it back out no one needs to see you spitting out in your plate or your napkin or definitely not in your napkin definitely you shouldn't be doing that but uh, everybody's eating at the table and lifting their fork to their mouth you can also lift your fork to your mouth to remove something that went in and finally discipline yourself you want to be on your best behavior when you are dining out with others, especially if these people are your colleagues, your work colleagues, or potential clients, customers, or uh, anybody else who are business-wise. You want to make sure that you discipline yourself. Know when you've had enough, enough of drink, and don't get drunk at the table. It is not the place. It's not a party out with your friends. And know when you've had enough of food. And bear in mind, if you have to go to the buffet table, don't load up because it looks as if you, you're creating a little mountain out of your plate. And if it shows you up as indisciplined or as greedy and you don't want to do that, you don't want to show yourself up like that, so know when you've had enough of food and drink and also know when you've had enough of conversation. For instance, conversation might be getting to the point where somebody might feel offended, know when to stop. And uh, as we talk about conversation, be sure that you are not talking, you know, sharing your own political views or sharing your, your religious views. Uh, you don't want to offend people. So uh, know when enough is enough because being at a formal table, a meal table, is a time for a nice camaraderie, a pleasant conversation so that people can digest their food and you too want to digest your food. Now, thank you so much for viewing. If you want more information on dining out and in fact dining anywhere with comfort any part of the world i have written a book titled dining anywhere with comfort it is on amazon.com and you can either read it for free or you can purchase it's an ebook you can purchase a copy so thank you so much for viewing all the best for more videos on personal and professional etiquette, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to get instant notification whenever I post a video. You may also visit my website protocolcaribbean.com.